Hi, my name is Daniel, and in this video I'll be showing you how to integrate and automate your development or production environments with Zen Server 6 using Web API. Zen Server 6 is almost fully web service enabled, which together with provided CLI tools makes it extremely easy and safe to integrate with third party systems, including monitoring tools, continuous integration solutions, and automation solutions. In fact, the Zen Server UI itself is implemented as an HTML5 JavaScript client application that consumes these backend services. The first thing that you need to understand is that to integrate with Zen Server 6 using Web API, you'll need a Web API key. These keys are managed in the Zen Server user interface under the administration tab on the Web API page. In this case, the Web API keys list is displaying the details of the key supplied by default by Zen Server. Administrators can freely create and remove Web API keys as they see fit, while users with a developer user role can enable access to Zen Server's functionality with one provided key. Clicking Add Key will pop up the Add API Key dialog in which you enter the name of the new key and the designated user role the key is to be assigned to. To remove a key, just select it from the list and click Delete. or simply click the remove key icon on the right. Once you have the key details, its name and its hash key, you're ready for third party integration. So let's take a look at how we actually use these details. To simulate Web API in action, we've actually created a visual wrapper to some simple Web API code. The code contains a simple Web API request and response function. I've got three applications deployed on the server and I'd like to get their status using the application get status web API method. So I'm going to enter the name of the method and select the appropriate HTTP method. Now I'm going to add the name of the web API key and the hash key which I'll just copy from the web API page in the Zen server user interface. Now let's send out our request. Our demo wrapper is showing us the response. In this case I'm getting all the data on my deployed applications. For example the ID of the app, its base URL, its name, version and more. We'll be using these details soon. Now say I'd like to remove one of these applications from our server. To do this, I can use the application remove web API method. So I'm going to enter the name of the method, select the post HTTP method, and use the same web API key details again. Clicking submit, our cool demo wrapper is letting us know that we are missing the app ID parameter so that the server can tell which application we're trying to remove. So I'm going to add an ID parameter of one of the apps we saw in the application get status API response earlier and send the request again. Switching to the Zen Server user interface, we can indeed see that the application is being removed. And just as we just used the Web API to remove an application, the Web API allows Nagios to consume Zen Server monitoring, Hudson to automatically deploy PHP applications, and more. So, whether you're a developer looking to debug or deploy an application, or an ops manager looking to add more servers to your cluster, Web API allows you to securely and remotely access almost all of Zen Server's user interface functionality. That's it for now. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any ideas for improving Zen Server 6 that you'd like to share with the Zen Server team, please don't hesitate to contact Zen. If you want to play around with this Web API visual wrapper, or see more detailed information on all available Web API methods, please refer to the online documentation at www.zen.com.